All throughout a modern household, there are machines quietly working in the background, many of them powered by something small but extraordinary. Children's toys rely on it to bring wheels to life. A table fan uses it to move air across a room. Toothbrushes, hair dryers, blenders, and even an electric cutting knife all depend on the same hidden mechanism. Inside each of these devices rests a motor. At first glance, it seems almost magical. A person flips a switch, electricity begins to flow, and the motor immediately begins to spin. But what lies beneath this rotation? Why does it begin so effortlessly? To uncover the answer, one has to walk through the principles of electricity, the mysteries of magnets, and finally see how they combine to form the very heartbeat of countless machines. The journey starts with the concept of a circuit. A battery provides the source of energy, wires form a path, and a device such as a light bulb consumes the power. Current flows when the path is complete, and the bulb shines brightly. Break the path, however, and the light immediately dies out. This demonstrates one of the most fundamental laws of electricity. Current cannot travel through an incomplete loop. The switch, simple as it looks, is therefore a powerful gatekeeper, allowing a circuit to be opened or closed at will. In conventional flow, the current leaves the positive side of the battery, travels through the wires, powers the device, and then returns to the negative side. If the battery is flipped, the direction of the current reverses. A light bulb does not care, it glows either way. Yet not every device is so indifferent. Some machines respond differently depending on the direction of flow. The orientation of electricity matters, and this difference becomes critical in motors. Now the focus shifts to magnets. Magnets possess two poles, north and south. These poles never exist alone, always bound in pairs. Opposite poles attract each other while, like poles, repel. Place a paperclip near a magnet and it leaps forward, held firmly. Bring a second magnet close, and attraction or repulsion reveals itself depending on the alignment. Magnets come in various shapes and sizes. They may be long and bar-shaped, short and circular, or flat like a disc. Regardless of form, their invisible influence remains the same. Permanent magnets are especially fascinating. They are called permanent because they cannot be switched off. Their internal domains, tiny regions of magnetic alignment, are all pointed in the same direction, creating a lasting field. To visualize this, imagine drilling a hole through the center of a permanent magnet and placing it on a pivot so that it can spin freely. As another magnet approaches, the free magnet aligns so that north faces south. Switch the approaching magnet, and like poles repel, forcing the spinning magnet to turn the other way. If this switching continues, north then south, attraction then repulsion, the spinning magnet keeps rotating endlessly. This little demonstration hides within it the essence of motor operation. But motors demand more than permanent magnets. They need control, and that control is found in electromagnets. Consider a simple steel bolt. On its own, it does not behave like a magnet. Its magnetic domains are disorganized, each pointing in random directions. Wrap insulated wire around it, though, and connect the wire to a battery, and the story changes instantly. The current flowing through the coil forces the domains to align. The bolt transforms into a magnet with a distinct north and south pole. This new magnet can pick up paper clips or interact with other magnets exactly like a permanent one. What makes an electromagnet powerful is its flexibility. It can be switched on or off as easily as turning the battery connection on or off. More importantly, by reversing the flow of current, its poles flip. North becomes south, and south becomes north. This reversal of polarity is crucial because it is precisely what keeps motors spinning. A permanent magnet never changes, but an electromagnet can be commanded to alternate endlessly. Now imagine returning to the spinning magnet experiment, except this time, the free magnet in the center is replaced with an electromagnet. As soon as current flows, the electromagnet turns on and aligns itself with the side magnet. Reverse the current, and the poles flip, causing repulsion and attraction in the opposite direction. Reverse again, and the cycle repeats. Each reversal keeps the electromagnet in constant motion. 
add two side magnets, one with its north pole facing inward and the other with its south pole facing inward, and the central electromagnet spins even more reliably, driven by the push and pull on both sides. Here lies the skeleton of an electric motor. To refine this design, engineers move away from a crude bolt and instead use a loop of wire called an armature. When electricity runs through the loop, it behaves as an electromagnet, complete with north and south poles. Place the loop between permanent side magnets and it will spin until it reaches alignment. But here lies the challenge. Once aligned, it stops. To make it continue, the current must reverse just at the right moment. One could switch the wires manually every half turn, but this would be tedious and impractical. Motors solve this problem elegantly with a device called a commutator. The commutator is a split metal ring attached to the armature. Brushes, conductive contacts pressed against the ring, slide as the ring rotates. Each time the armature reaches halfway, the brushes shift to the opposite side of the split ring, reversing the current. This automatic switching ensures that the electromagnet's poles flip just when needed, keeping the spin alive. The commutator does what human hands cannot. It perpetually reverses polarity with perfect timing. As long as the battery remains connected, the cycle never ends. Current flows, poles flip, attraction and repulsion alternate, and the armature spins continuously. Disconnect the battery and the electromagnet vanishes, the rotation ceases, and the motor rests. But motors do not rely on just one wire loop. With only one loop, the motion is irregular. There are points where the armature stalls as the brushes sit between commutator segments. The solution is to add more loops. Two loops already improve performance, but practical motors often use dozens. As one loop loses contact, another is energized and torque remains constant. The loops take turns, ensuring the motor never hesitates. Torque is the twisting force that drives rotation. The greater the torque, the more powerful the motor. Several strategies enhance it. Adding more turns of wire to each loop strengthens the electromagnet. Increasing the electrical current flowing through the wires further boosts the magnetic field. That is why inside real motors, one sees coils of copper wire wound tightly again and again. Each additional turn magnifies the strength, producing faster, stronger motion. In the language of engineers, the stationary part of the motor, the permanent magnets fixed to the casing, is called the stator. The spinning part, carrying the loops of wire, is called the rotor or armature. The rotor sits on an axle that protrudes outside the motor, allowing the rotational energy to power other devices. This division between stator and rotor is universal, forming the backbone of motor design. The design described so far is a direct current, or DC motor. Whenever a device is powered by a battery and requires movement, there is a strong chance a DC motor lies inside. Other motors, such as alternating current, AC motors, or brushless designs, exist as well, each using variations of the same principle. Yet at their core, they all exploit the intimate relationship between electricity and magnetism to produce continuous rotation. Once rotation is achieved, it can be harnessed in countless ways. In toys, the spinning axle turns wheels. In fans, it drives blades to push air and cool a room. In electric knives, gears convert the circular spin into back and forth motion, making blades soar rapidly through food. Rotation, once captured, can be transformed into almost any mechanical motion, limited only by imagination. What might seem like a small detail, the hidden spinning inside a casing actually powers the modern world. Motors run appliances, industrial machines, tools, vehicles, and even spacecraft systems. They are everywhere, tirelessly converting electrical energy into motion. The story of the electric motor begins simply with circuits, batteries, and magnets. But as each layer is added, the switch, the electromagnet, the polarity reversal, the commutator, the loops of wire, the design transforms into one of the most vital technologies of modern life. Every time a motor spins, it embodies a remarkable union between invisible forces. Electricity generates magnetism, magnetism creates motion, and motion, in turn, powers the world. 
Though often hidden from view, motors make modern convenience possible. Whether cooling a room, cutting food, or delighting a child with a moving toy, they represent one of humanity's most elegant achievements. At the heart of each one lies the simple truth. Controlled currents and magnetic fields can make the inanimate come alive, turning silence into spin and spin into the rhythm of modern life.